Hello friends, I hope you're all doing well. So, has it ever happened to you that you shared your Valorant account with a friend, and they changed the password? Or maybe you've forgotten your own Valorant account password? In today's video, I'll guide you step by step on how to revoke access to your account and get it back. For this process, you'll need the following information. The email you used when creating the account. Even if you later verified the account with another email or someone else did, the first email, FE, is the one you originally used even if it wasn't verified, date of birth that you entered while creating the account, username that you used to log in to Riot Launcher. Stick with me and let's get your account back. Before we dive in, let me be clear. This tutorial is strictly for recovering your own accounts. Misusing these steps to access someone else's account is not just unethical, but also illegal. Trust me, I get it. Losing access to an account you've spent money on is heartbreaking. True gamers know the bond we have with our personal accounts and getting betrayed by a friend, that's a next level gut punch. But don't worry, stick with me and we'll recover it together. First, open your browser and search for Valorant Account Revoke. This will direct you to Riot Games' official support page or related guides for reclaiming your account. Make sure to click on the official Riot Games website to avoid any scams or phishing pages. On the page that opens, look for the section titled Begin Account Recovery. Underneath it, you'll find the option for Account Recovery. Click on it to start the process of regaining access to your account. Next, you'll need your username. You can easily find this in the first email you used to create your account. Simply copy it and paste it into the username section. For the Riot ID or Summoner name, enter it if you remember it. However, if it's been changed, like often happens after a scam, you can leave this field blank. Don't stress, it's not mandatory for recovery. For the next step, you'll be asked, have you played League of Legends on this account? If you have, select yes from the drop-down menu. If not, choose no. Simple as that. Then comes the date of birth. As I mentioned earlier, you need to enter the exact date of birth you used when creating your account. This helps Riot's system verify that you're the rightful owner of the account. Click Next. And now you'll be asked for your original sign-up email. Remember, this is the first email I mentioned earlier. Enter it here. Next you'll be asked, do you have access to this email? Since it's likely that your account was scammed but not your email, select Yes. Then it asks, what other emails have you used with this account? If you remember any, enter them. If not, you can skip this step. Lastly, you'll see, do you have access to any of these emails? If you entered any additional emails earlier and still have access to them, select Yes. If not, just skip this as well and click Next to proceed. Now, it's time to reset your password. For the How Should We Reach You section, enter the same first email, the one you originally used to create the account. This is where Riot will send the password recovery link. Before submitting, make sure to verify all the information you've entered in the form. Once everything looks good, click Submit Account Recovery. Riot will send you an email if the information is correct. Open that email, click the link they've sent, choose your new password, and confirm it. And just like that, you're all set and back in your account. Now that you've reset your password, you can log in and get back to playing your favorite games. If this video helped you out, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update from Windows Fixer. If you have any questions or need further help, drop a comment below. I'm always here to help. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy gaming. Before we wrap up, remember, never share your account with anyone. It's risky and can lead to unwanted issues. Instead, use the QR code method for sharing access securely. You can scan the QR code from your mobile through Discord, which makes logging in on another PC super easy. Another great option is two-factor authentication, 2FA. It adds that extra layer of security to keep your account safe. But honestly, the best advice? Don't share your account at all. It's just not worth the risk.